VLOOKUP function can search for a value in the first column of the selection and can return value of the column number specified. So there is a limitation that VLOOKUP can return value from only one column. But what if you have a scenario where you want to return value of multiple columns? XLOOKUP can make your life easier in this scenario. So let's understand this with an help of an example. Over to my screen. I'm having employees master data in one of the worksheet called employee master. And as you know, work from office is again coming back. So management wants to prepare a list of few employees to whom they want to call. And therefore they want to gather a few of the basic information, then like name, position, department, location. Now, normally we would have done this using VLOOKUP. So how we would have written VLOOKUP? Let's see, is equal to VLOOKUP. Okay, search for this value comma so we'll search for this value in a column and let's extend range up to f comma sixth sorry second column i will need to return back comma zero because name is in second column okay like this and let's say i want to even fetch position okay so we would have maybe copy pasted the same lookup so that's why I selected A to F so that I could simply change column number here. Okay, like this. Again, department, same video cup copy paste, column number four. But friends, don't you think this is a very long procedure? Let's see how using X lookup you can reduce your work. Okay. So is equal to X lookup. You want to search this value okay comma lookup array so i would go to this sheet and search for this value in column number a comma now if i want only name okay if i want only name to be written i would have selected b like this so that it would have written respective name for the respective id okay but X lookup is a bit special. If you select like this, okay, B to E in the return range, okay, then it would return all the selected columns, okay. So basically, what I did, I searched for this value, okay, employee ID in column number A, okay, column number A, and now instead of just Again, selecting column number B as a fetch column, I selected multiple columns, B to E, because I want name, position, department, location, four columns I want to return. So X lookup. So as you can see, B to E has selected four columns. So X lookup return all those four columns. Okay. And you can extend this like this. Please try this on your own example. And of course, you would require Office 365 version of Excel for this, but I would say it's worth to upgrade to it. So if you like this technique, please do like the video and subscribe to YouTube channel.